Joe Fordwell here for Odd Sharp, where we have reached the end of the line of the college basketball season. It's Kansas, it's UNC, it's in New Orleans, Monday night, tip time scheduled for 9.20 p.m. Eastern. Let's start with the side, where Kansas opened as a four-point favorite before quickly being bet up to four and a half. Small wager on the side here for me, I will be backing the Jayhawks. Two key reasons. Number one, the health and status of UNC big man Armando Baycott. Baycott, late in Saturday's win over Duke, rolled his right ankle. Now, he did check back into the game, but he looked hobbled, and he eventually fouled out. I expect him to play Monday night, but I don't expect him to be anywhere near 100%. This is a guy who during the regular season averaged 16 points and 13 rebounds per game. In the tournament, he's averaging 15 points and 16 rebounds per game. He has been a beast. Both ends of the court, all over the glass. That's a huge blow for UNC. Number two, how much gas do the Tar Heels have left in the tank after what happened Saturday night? Huge emotional win, late into the night, close game. It took everything out of them to get by Duke. And now they have to turn around two days later and get ready for Kansas, who's blown out everybody in the tournament. They rocked Villanova to the point where they could yank all their starters late in that game. I wonder, I wonder what those gas tanks look like for the UNC starters. So, small wager on Kansas, minus four and a half for the side. Let's talk about the total. Open 152 and a half, bet up immediately to 153 and a half. I might be on an island here, but I will be playing the under in this game. Again, it comes down to two key reasons. Number one is Baycott and what that's gonna do to the UNC offense. We've already discussed that. Number two is shooting regression on behalf of Kansas. If you watch that Villanova game, they couldn't miss. 54% from the floor, 54% from deep. I do not expect Kansas to be able to shoot at that frequency for a second game in a row. And if there is regression, less points are gonna be scored. This is a high total to begin with. So you factor in the Baycott injury and some predicted regression on behalf of Kansas' shooting, lower scoring game, we're gonna go under 153 and a half. Finally, let's look at a prop, right? Little juicy here, but Kansas, first to 20 points, minus 140. I will back the Jayhawks here. I think UNC is gonna have to feel this game out. They're gonna come out and they're obviously gonna figure out how they're gonna run the offense and how they're gonna play with the Baycott injury. Is he healthy enough to go? Do they have to keep the ball away from him? Is he more of a decoy? Is he a liability on defense? They're gonna have to feel this game out early, whereas Kansas knows exactly what it wants to do. I think that favors the Jayhawks. I will play them and bet them to be the first team to 20 points at minus 140. Now you know who I like. So who do you like? Go into the comment section, drop your favorite bets, and then head on over to Odd Shark. Check out our computer plays and all of our analysis regarding Monday night's national championship game.